Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at composite particles. So let's get into it. Now, we've already looked at fundamental particles, but what do we mean by composite particles? Well, they're kind of just the opposite. So we say that a composite particle is a particle that is made up of other particles. That is, they are not fundamental particles. So remember, fundamental particles are particles that are in their simplest form and they are not made up of any other particles. But composite particles are. It then says that hadrons are particles that are made up of quarks, such as protons and neutrons. So we've got this new term hadrons that we give to things that are made up from quarks. And this means that hadrons are composite particles. And we say that there are two types of hadrons, and these are called baryons and mesons. Whether a particle is a baryon or meson depends on how many particles it consists of. So let's start by looking at baryons first of all. So it says here that baryons consist of three quarks, for example protons and neutrons. They are stable particles. Protons are made up of two up quarks and a down quark. So if we zoomed in on a proton, you would see two up quarks and a down quark all joined together by what we call gluons. And we'll talk about gluons in a future theory video where we look at force mediating particles. So knowing what a proton is made up of, two up quarks and a down quark, we could work out the overall charge on the proton to find that it's plus one E, i.e. plus one times the magnitude of the electron charge. So that would be plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So to find the overall charge, we can use the charge of the individual quarks and we just need to add them up. So we have plus two thirds E for one of the up quarks, plus two thirds E for the other up quark, minus a third E for the down quark. And if you add those all up, we would have four thirds E for this part, minus a third E, which would give us plus three over three E, which is the same as plus one E. So that would be a positively charged proton, which makes sense. We can do the same for neutrons as well, where we see that neutrons are made up of two down quarks this time and an up quark. So we've got one up quark here and two down quarks joined together by gluons. And this again is a zoomed in picture of the neutron. We could also show that the overall charge on the neutron was zero, i.e. neutral charge, by again adding up all the charges of the individual quarks. So if you look here, we have plus two thirds E for the up quark, minus a third E for one of the down quarks, minus a third E for the other down quark. So that gives us plus two thirds E minus two thirds E if we sum those together, which is the same as zero. So we've shown by calculating the total charge that the proton has a charge of plus one E and the neutron has a charge of zero. And these are baryons, remember, made up of three quarks. The other type of hadron, remember, is called a meson. And we say that mesons consist of two quarks in a quark-antiquark -quark pair, for example, pions. As they are unstable, they only have a short lifetime, so they only exist for a very short amount of time. For example, the positive pion consists of an up quark and an anti-down quark. So here's our positive pion shown in the picture. Again, this is just a zoomed in image where we can see the up quark and anti-down quark joined together by a gluon there. And we could show that the positive pion has an overall positive charge of plus one E by again doing what we did for the proton and neutron earlier, where we just find the total charge by adding up the charges of the individual quarks. So we could say plus two thirds E for the charge on the up quark, and remember a down quark has a charge of minus third E, but an anti-down quark must have the same magnitude of charge, but the opposite sign. So instead of minus a third E for the down quark, we've got plus a third E for the anti-down quark. So that's why we have plus a third E here, which gives us plus three over three E when you simplify it, which is the same as plus one E. So that means our positive pion is made up of an up quark and an anti-down quark. So it's worth remembering that composite particles are made up of other particles such as quarks, and we have a name for things made up of quarks, and that's hadrons. And we said there are two types of hadrons. So these are baryons and mesons, where baryons are made up of three quarks, such as protons and neutrons, whereas mesons are made up of two quarks only in a quark-antiquark -quark pair, such as pions. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.